I have a first caller this evening, and then here we go. Adu Hi, first. Hi, Uncle. I'm first. Good How evening, are you? Everybody. Ha. How are you? I'm very well, though. Yourself? I'm very well. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, I can. Can you? Okay. Yes, I can hear you, Uncle. Class. Um, I'll get straight into it. First thing I want to address, you know, we discussed earlier in the week or last week about how the government in Nigeria lies about the population figure. Yes. I want to remind everybody that anytime you see the government talking about population, they're saying that to manipulate you into thinking that the task to change Nigeria is overbearing. That's number one. Number two. Apart from the population figure that is not correct, there's also a propaganda regarding the generation that is actually protested. So there's a propaganda to say that Nigeria's population is young people. That's actually very inc incorrect. Nigeria has a high, I would say, equal population of elderly people. Okay. So this narrative that we're all hearing, Jen, I noticed that in, I think his name is um, um, the president. That's his name, I believe. I'm not too sure. But I believe the president in his speech, the first two statements in his speech, he addressed the young people. They do that to manipulate you to think that the young people are the only group who are not happy with Nigeria. The population of Nigeria is actually probably 60, 40. 40% 40 over the age of 50. And then the 60% is actually under the age of 10. So when you're 10, you're not a young person. When you're 10, you're a child. So this propaganda they've been pushing into the airways, oh, Gen Z are not happy. No, Gen Z is not even the highest population. There's more older people in Nigeria than there is Gen Z. So I just want us to be aware of that. So every time we hear them, mentioning oh the young people and the reason why they also say that and let me know if i'm wrong uncle michael there's a there's a cultural issue in nigeria with elders and youngers so there's an idea that elderly people in nigeria do not take young people seriously well that's right you know mm -hmm. so because so because of that when you're telling gen z to do everything you're it's almost like you're telling gen z to jump in the fire because who's going to help them implement these things? Supposedly, the, the elders, you know. Hmm. But the elders don't respect the young ones. Do you, does that make sense? So when you're telling the young people to do things, remember, the Yoruba culture does not respect young people. It's a challenging culture. Hmm. There's, there's a lot of disrespect to young people. So that's why they don't take it seriously. Ah, our Gen Z. Hmm. Even the way they talk about Gen Z is disrespectful. Oh, our yeah. Condescending way. Hmm. Yes. Once he did, hmm, share more our Gen Z. It's almost like there's this narrative of we went through the pain and they want Gen Z to also go through the pain. That's right. Hmm. Like uh, Gen Z always want to have it easy. Eh? Yes, yes. Easy. We didn't have there it you easy. go. There you go. Hmm. So when 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 the elders are when so there's two narratives here. 
The number one issue I'm trying to communicate to the listeners is the propaganda from the government is to disconnect young people from society. So they make the conversation that young people are these people over there. I want to run no. I want to Nisha. My Yoruba is terrible. I'm trying. I'm practicing, right? Um, the ones that the ones that don't have anything to do. However, the, 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 the elders or will never be taken serious. There the you ones go. That are yeah. So ambitious and impatient. Oh, yeah. the ones there that are, are disrespectful, thinking they have an idea. The ones who didn't know that what uh, an elder sees when he's seated, even if you climb uh, you know, the high rise, you can't see it. All those talks, like undermining us, telling us that we yes. probably have no idea of how the world works. They do, yes. unfortunately. They do that. Mm. But then at the same time, they will say, oh, we need to borrow money from Britain because we have the biggest population of young people. It's a lie. They do not have the... They have. They, we have a high population of children, child under the age of 10, yes. Why is that as well? Because the government did not give education on sexual orientation. Because the more parents have children, the more they can abuse, the, the government can abuse your child. Hmm. So they like the overpopulation. They, they want it to be like that. But it's so important we understand that and we when we hear any government telling you, oh, you know, there's so many young people, it's a lie. In fact, anyone over the age of 50, there's more, there's more Nigerians over the age of 50, actually. Nigeria has a massive elderly population. You are broke. So, there's no you know pension. I'm my head like this, right? I'm just like a man. I'm just about a few years away from that 50. Very soon now, I, people won't <laughs> tell me I'm a youth anymore. Say, no, you are not. You are 50. No, uncle, you're young for life. Nigeria. They also start saying that. Yes. Really? Hope not. But yes. I mean, like, hopefully not, okay? Because that is why somebody like myself is doing everything with other people to make sure that this shouldn't continue. And whatever it's going to take, right? I do not want to be categorized as part of those who actually brought this upon the people. That's what I'm going to try. Yeah. No. I mean, you and you're, you're doing a great job, but I feel like the elders need to understand that they are looking. They the elders think that they've crossed the line. Why will a man so Alice see me insane? Hey, they see me all. Dear elders, you guys cannot be seeing. Okay, have to be on your feet exactly. Hmm. You have to be on your feet because they well, who's going to look? Where's your pension coming from? If you're not if you're not going to protest, where's your pension gonna come? You think these these, these, these corporate people are gonna keep your pensions? Who's gonna help you? They'll steal your pension eventually. So everybody's gonna protest. Aduke. Thank, thank you. you thank so you, Uncle. Much, eh? You have a good one, okay? Speak to you soon. Yes. Odabo. Bye-bye. Cheers, Odabo. That's Aduke, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. I have another caller. Yeah. Hello. Did I even get to you? Because sometimes, right? You, I think I, I did. Are you there? Okay, that's strange. Now that that is strange, because <laughs> I I picked up the call, okay, and it's, it just kind of like froze there. Unfortunately, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, my able general. Hello, sir. How are, uh, how are you, my brother? Yes, sir. How you doing? Uh, Happy weekend. This is uh, HUK calling from Kansas City. Bless you, man. Hey, uh, Yeah. How is Kansas? Yeah, what's I'm up? in Kansas today. Man, it's kind of a little warm, but it's not bad at all. Man, you better yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. You know what I'm talking about. I know, my brother. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> man, man, I don't know where to start, bro. I don't know where to start. I'm telling you, bro. I don't so know where to start. Yeah. Um, you see that country called Nigeria. First of all, I always say that Nigeria is not a country. That's a zoo. That's an animal kingdom. There is no way you can compare Nigeria to other countries. And that's why most of the people that talk about Nigeria, they keep comparing Nigeria to other countries hmm. where they haven't go far away. We are all, even the Venice Republic, their neighbors. They never go inch where those countries go. And they're comparing themselves to country far away, cross ocean. You know, the That's usual, the know usual typical have... Niger thing. Everything they had, everything yes. they told us is what majority, uh, they grew up actually repeating. You see people in their yes. 50s, right? 
they'll be telling you that, uh, do you know that Nigeria was a great country? Say, oh, wow, there was never a time Nigeria was really great too. But they continue to tell I, us that, that uh, it was a great, ah, Nigeria used to, I said, okay. There are all that's these really HJ guys I, who do that, okay? From 50s above. Yeah. They are so like... Yeah, even, even I'm not educated about Nigeria, but mm. first of all, before you say something, what it is, right? My mom gave birth to me, and I know who my mother is. Mm. And I know where that was gave birth for. And I know the year I was gave birth from. Mm. Who created Nigeria? That's the first place where they need to start. And how did Nigeria come about? At least. This the country, first they, answer is that uh, least, not the people. So, yeah, go on. Yes. So, now, uh, talking about this uh, revolution that's going on, which is protest that's going on, Le, uh, my, uh, uh -huh. do you know that it's those criminals is not 100% of the problem of that zoo? I agree. Do you I know the people that are the problem time, of that country? Tell us. Those, those military, police, mm -hmm. army, any armed forces of that country called zoo Nigeria, they are the problem of that country. Can you tell me now, somebody's coming to my house and stoning me and breaking everything, uh -huh. and I'm trying to go retaliate with somebody, and there's somebody in the middle with a gun, and avoiding me to go beat that person up. Then when I do try to have a chance to go beat him up, he shoot me. So the problem of that country you call, they call Nigeria is the military, Police, any armed forces, that's the people you guys are supposed to, this protest, supposed to beat the hell out of, shooting them or whatever, because they're the one holding that country the way it is now. They are the one giving those politicians more the, 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 the coverage to continue, mm -hmm. to continue doing what they're doing. They are the one protecting them. They don't care about the poor masses out there. They don't, but that's the reason why police can kill you anytime they want, and, and they get away with it. With it. Hmm. Because the people are not uniting, I'm going after them. I'm going after them, make sure, because this thing, if they did once for all, you will see that country will become what they call it is. Other than that, Nigeria will never survive. And the, work, the more you started doing it, the politician, the criminal yourself, they know how to come with it. They will start putting the ethnics. This is, they're killing you because you are Muslim. They're killing you too much because you believe you are from now. They, they will see them, they come all kinds of moralities of impunities. That is the reason why people should rise up and face those ones with harm. As soon as they get ready of those people, then they can decide that whether they want to have Nigeria or they want to so go to, go everybody go to their ways. separate, separate ways. And Maegu, as soon as they not do, as soon as that is not done, that country will never, and these people will keep looting and killing much as they, they will take it as a, as they take it as a they, are, they, are, they don't look like they are scared anyway. If all of us wants to be honest right now, they don't look they're like not. they are worried it's, about the consequences of what they have done. They may be a little are, bit panicky, not, like, okay, they are, they are not worried. That's the reason why they know that we know what they know, and that is the reason why they keep pushing out those Boko Haram. And the worst part of it, the Nigerians, the people that claim they love Nigeria, they was there when they recruited all these terrorists, mass right. of terrorists, into their armed forces. Yeah, and they defended now, it. The they said it's fake news. They, mm -hmm. they defended it. That is time they need to go in after these people one mm. by one. Mm. Police or army, that is the reason why when they started doing that, those ones, the reason, those ones, they have sense, they cannot start getting out of the armed forces. Then they, that's time they will know who those people are. As long as that was not done, my, that country is not going nowhere. It's just going everybody will suffer around. to the mm. everybody will suffer to the last. I tell you. To the that, to the that person go back to the grave. That, I'm almost 40 something, 43 years old. Yeah. And I'm still looking. That is why you can have when you go to road, they mark all these checking points. Because those people they get a privilege, they're collecting money, stealing for people. Mm -hmm. And that's what they get their salary. And forget that. The any police, if you are here in real country, they have a budget. We are the any police officer have a wheel equipped with his own vehicle. No, they Computers give them targets and everything. now. They now they give them targets and they have to meet it, Be including if they have to my, kidnap people, my, take them to ATM what, what and is, collect their money. Mm -hmm. Yes, what is different that person in checking point collecting money and the hour on the road? What is different between them and them? Uniform. Don't, it's just uniform, but it's the same criminal. Because the criminal go carry gun. The criminal go say, yes. I want your money. Give me that money now. 
And there's possibility that the criminal won't even kill you if he collects the money. This one will kill you. And this one will, and frame you. will kill you. And frame you. That is the reason why those armed forces need to be destroyed. They need to go down, each one of them. I'm not looking at anybody first to say, and I'm telling you the truth. If that is not done, that country will be more deviation than uh, ever should be before. something that actually makes the, the, the people with, in authority to fear the people they are leading. Uh, okay. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, Mayo, well, thank you, my brother. Again. I appreciate hmm? you, man. Oh, thank you. Have Baba. a good weekend. And you too. Take it easy, man. Okay. So that's uh, Ajaik from Kansas City. Um, is Kansas City not Nevada? Okay. Is it Kansas City, Kansas? Colorado, Denver. Well, don't worry. I have another caller here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Mayugo. Good hey, evening. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you, Baba? Yes, sir. I'm very good. And you? Well, I'm surviving. Thanks so much for asking. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Baba. Yes, sir. Uh, well, uh, my name is uh, Frayo. Like, you know, it's uh, Frayo. Frayo. From Andorra. Uh -huh. go yeah, go. from Andorra. Mm -hmm. uh, see, uh, normally... I don't usually call. I always like listening to you. But yesterday, when there was uh, this uh, parliament, so I was listening to everybody. Right. So I picked what uh, Princess talked about. And I, there are some things he said. I don't agree with our points. Okay. So I decided today I will call and make some things clear. In my own way, yeah, in, my, are, in my own way of thinking. Yeah. So what she was saying yesterday that I disagree with, it's, it's like we in the diaspora, as it was, she was saying that uh, we also is like we are slaves here, that we walk, we pay our rent, we do all this stuff. All she was saying yesterday about like we in the diaspora, we are like slaves also. But I want to make them very, understand. You know, it's just metaphorically, you know, yeah. Like slavery, yeah, but it's just yeah, yeah, but yeah, but what I want to, what I want everybody to really understand about this Western world is that the difference between this Western world, what I see, mm -hmm. is your my own, my own observations. The difference between this Western world and Africa is this Western world we have a working system. Okay, right. and in Africa, in Nigeria, we don't have a working system. So when they say some people say we wake up at six o'clock, we wake up at five o'clock, we go to work at six o'clock or whatever time they put it. Look, the way we work is the same way the government they work. Take for instance a government office here. If it's if it's going to be open by eight o'clock, yes, the government office cannot open eight o one. It's not possible. They have to open that eight o'clock at the dot. Yes. So even the government, the government worker, the whatever they are, they work the same way we work. Mm -hmm. They pay what we pay. So it's like, so what I'm trying to make them understand, like what she was saying yesterday, to my own point of view, the way I understand it is like mm -hmm. uh, we pay for house rent and we pay for uh you said he said uh, like uh Free education, all those stuff. There is no free education. We are paying for all those stuff. Yes, we are paying. We are paying for it. But the way we pay for it is it at ease, at ease. You get like they take a little away from our our salary just to keep that system going. And when your children goes to school, we don't pay like they pay in Nigeria. Like you have to pay it in bulk. So this system here is like easy life. You know, it makes you know life what I'm going to also say to back you up, right? Uh, we we'll say, yeah, please. we have a system that uh, whatever you put in, you're going to get it back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get that thank you. If thank you wake up yeah. every morning to go to that your place of work, there's a particular service you are offering, and you're going to get yeah. a reward for it. When the reward yeah. comes, right, nobody yeah. can stop it or they do with it it's because that is what you put into the system. So, if you need healthcare. Your children need education. You are putting something in it, right? And therefore, yeah. they are taking something out. They are getting something out. We cannot yeah. really say we have that in where we come from. People put a lot into the pot. They don't get anything back. Nigerians, yes. even when you are talking about uh, the, when you're comparing us and the government, right? Some of us are part of the government yeah. here today. We work for government. Some of us work for, uh, you know, uh, parastatus or, or 
businesses that actually works with government, right? Or yeah. I would prefer we uh, compare Nigeria in this regard, okay? Just about putting something into a system that pays you back, yeah. okay? Yeah. The same way you work hard, there are those who work harder than you in Nigeria. The reward system mm -hmm. is zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you get now. So that's why I said when yeah. people said we are slaves, this or that, it's just metaphorically just to say we could oh, become okay. more if we have a working system for where we come from. You get what I mean now? Yeah. That we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of us are money alone, no, no doubt. You know, we are people where we say, Yeah, we come from a well to do family. But the system yeah. they build there as yeah. is now threatening whatever it is that uh, some of us comfortably enjoy then. So here we are. So yeah. Remember? Right, you finish that. I just thought I should put a context to it as well to say. No, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you said, uh, hey, you know, what you said, what you, what you said is right. You are just like trying to put me more better, uh, more, more, more uh, explanation. But, but the thing is that most people, most of them, always think that we are slaves. Yeah, they always say 